Hi, this video is on the sales lead pipeline and it's available to be completed here in the management portal or in the app. Now, the sales lead pipeline is all about making sure that every single sales inquiry or new opportunity is recorded somewhere and not missed, not allowed to slip through the floorboards. And so it's really important to have every single inquiry that comes into the business, however it may come, uh, recorded and stored and accountable to somebody to deliver through. As part of that pipeline, it, it has a range of what we call stages. And pipeline stages vary from business to business, but an, a typical example is a sales inquiry might come in and that would be considered a cold stage as they show a certain amount of interest it moves to warm. Once it gets to a higher level of interest, it moves to hot, and then the deal is either won or it's lost or it's stalled. So they're what we call pipeline stages. And in the right top left-hand corner, you can see in this case that we have set those stages as cold, warm, hot, then either lost or deleted. So those stages are completely customizable and you can set them up to suit your business and your sales workflow and call them what you like. And we'll have a look at those in a moment. To access those pipeline stages, you can click on the blue pipeline stages tab on the right hand side. And you can see as we look at the data table of all of the inquiries, you can filter them at the top with the, these different filters, who they're currently assigned to, what stage they're up to and those stages are color coded as well just to make it visually easier to see where things are up to now when i look at the pipeline i can see the, the names and contact details of each inquiry i can also see the expected value and what we call the pipeline value so in this particular example the expected value is 2500 however the pipeline value is 1250 half 50 of the expected value and that's because we have set what we call a percentage likelihood of success to each stage of that sales process. So at cold, it's only 5%, $50 out of the total expected value of 1,000. But as it moves warmer, it looks like that's been set to 50%. And then when it gets to hot, it's been set to 75%. So as the deal becomes more likely to succeed, the percentage pipeline value increases. And the whole purpose of that is so that management can look at the bottom of, of the overall table and say, okay, we've got $80,000 worth of expected value in the pipeline. That's the total value of all the deals if they were successful. However, based on where each individual deal is up to, the, the true value, the true pipeline value is 38,539. So that's the logic behind what we call expected value, the total value of the deal and the pipeline value. In the next column, you can see that if those inquiries are converted to a quote, a job or an invoice, then there is a blue clickable link to take you directly to that quote, job or invoice. Uh, but you can visually see that they have been converted to those from here. Who the current assigned owner of that, who's accountable for that lead and taking it through that next stage, and then the actions to trigger to convert to quote job or invoice from directly from that page. You can edit to view each individual lead and adjust its status, upload attachments, see the history. So that's available for each individual lead. Okay. So all of the contact details, the current pipeline stage, that pipeline stage value percentage assigned to the expected value. So let's just go and have a look how we set those pipeline stages up. I'll click on the blue pipeline stages button in the top right hand corner. And here it is. So it's as simple as that. You just literally set the stage name and then apply that percentage. So here you can see cold has a percentage of 5%. Warm 50, hot 75. I can add and edit these and add additional stages and set the color that I'd like each stage to appear in the uh, dashboard. Next to the pipeline stages is our sales lead assistant. So this is using our Smart Assist program to automatically help and communicate with both your internal team and your external customers automatically for you. 
And you can see here that we use our automated messaging system. You can send emails, SMS messages, create letters, or create internal tasks as a sales lead moves through the different stages. And you can have multiple actions automatically triggering by just hitting the green plus action button to add more actions. Here you can see we've got two set up at the moment. The first one is when a cold lead comes in, when it arrives in the dashboard, it creates a follow-up task. It sends a new lead alert with the date, contact numbers, and mobile phone number. Uh, and so it's sending and creating a task for a specified person to follow that lead up. The second automated communication we've got going is an automated email to the client. So it automatically brings in their contact details. It provides a link to a website in this case, but you can, you can obviously do whatever you like and have communicate this in, in many different ways as it moves through those different stages. So the point of it is different communications being triggered automatically to nurture that lead as it moves through those different stages. To add the placeholders, if you haven't done that before, you just hit uh, control space and it opens up all of your placeholders from the CRM so that you can personalize the emails and the SMS messages that are being generated. Okay, so that's our Smart Assist program. So we looked at the overall sales dashboard. That's all automatically linked to the CRM then you've got your pipeline stages to set to suit your business and then finally the automated sales communications so that's the pipeline thanks very much for your time